sitting here with uh, our guest, uh, known by many names, uh, Uncle Bucky, <laughs> aka Buckles, <laughs> aka Dirty Hand. Um, welcome. Well, oh, thank you. So we're here today to to lay it all on the table and talk about really uh, uh, how you, how you're you're uh, sort of you know you're a kleptomaniac. Am I like reading that right? Yeah. So you're a klepto. My lady doesn't like klepto. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just want to lay that out right now. Um, how how do you think it's uh, you know affected your family and your friends around you? I don't like it. I'll do it all the time, just sometimes. Well, what kind of stuff would you say that you would steal from perhaps your friends or your family? Nothing from my friends and family. No? Nope. No. Yeah. No? Yeah. For sure. I'm positive. Now, I have sources that tell me that, uh, you know, you're pretty popular for taking some of the toilet paper, maybe. Towels, <laughs> maybe. Laundry detergent? <laughs> yeah, these kinds of things. <laughs> you never end up with those in your possession? Nope. Really? For real. So what, what kind of stuff would you say you do steal then? What do you want to cop to? Candy bars. Candy bars. Gary Deli candy bars. Good diving candy bars. And that's it? And occasional kitty pot. No. Never stole a ham? Never stole a ham. Yeah. We hate when we stick a ham. A microwave, you ever steal a microwave? Long, long time ago. You did? Yeah, actually. Tell me about that. I was with this chick, Lisa. Her mother worked at Ames. She used to go there and take all kinds of electronic equipment. I only did this once, because this was kind of creepy. And her mother cashed her off for $12.98. <laughs> or a TV, a DVD, a cell phone. Well, back then, those big old cordless home phones, you know? Now, would you say that when other people are saying that their toiletries are disappearing? I would take toiletries. You perhaps would, would come back with, Well, me. Well, me. No? Well, me. I was still told to buy napkins. So what would you say to those who, who, who accuse you of such things or would say such, uh, you know, blasphemy in your opinion about... You know, I think they might be still on toilet paper. You think they're still? I think paper. they're still. Yes, I do. So do you think really that it may be your friends that are putting you on the line, you know, under the yes, bus, I per se? Yes, I think so. Maybe perhaps somebody you live with? Oh. Huh? Is that what you're going to uh, yeah, do? I guess so. Really? So, so you're saying uh, maybe that's where it's all coming from and, and I, you're being falsely accused? Yes, I think so. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? The no, audience would be pretty interested to know about that. Yeah. Yeah. How long has this been happening? About seven months. Oh, seven months? Not too, too long. Maybe not a little longer than that? Yeah. Now and then. Maybe, you know, years maybe? No, not years. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> when you're talking about public establishments, are there any that you're not allowed in? <laughs> or perhaps maybe you're watched carefully when you step in the door? You do that now. No, no. You don't know. You don't know. Right. Because if you were just stealing candy bars, mm -hmm. then you, you would think that, you know, nobody would, would ban you from, from places for stealing candy bar here and there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a possibility, then, that you're banned from some places. It could be possible. possible. It could be possible. Right. Yeah, it could be. Again, maybe... Stole a ham or two. Yeah, maybe I don't think they were stealing ham. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe well, a turkey. I don't think I stole a turkey. What, what do you think that, uh, you know, it, you obviously admit to some sort of stealing problem per se. Um, how do you think your friends feel about that? I don't know. I don't like it, but yeah. they don't say. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> when you say that uh, perhaps people that you live with maybe perhaps are throwing you under the bus and saying that, you know, you're stealing things when in fact they are. Now, uh, how, how would you think they would react to uh, you know you saying such things? If I said such things, or she said such things, that okay. wouldn't be are very nice. That, 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 okay. would, that wouldn't be very nice. I don't steal toiletries. You know. No, I do not. Yeah. 
You want to smoke the other one? Nope. I get that from the sharing locker. The who? The sharing locker. The sharing locker. It's a program. The third Saturday of every month, you get to go and get toiletries. Well, okay. Cat food. So, no, I don't steal. Do so, you're anything. saying your, your story is that you have plenty of toiletries. I have plenty of toiletries. I got shampoo. Why would you have a need for, you know, toilet paper or... Shampoo. If I, if, I, if I need toilet paper, if I just go, if I run out, I you go across the flu You ever steal shampoo? Have I steal shampoo? Shampoo. Nope, never stole shampoo. Yeah, you put it in your hair. <laughs> no, I've never right. stole shampoo. Right. Never. Never. You ever stole from your parents? Hell no. You ever no. meet my father? No, I don't. I don't believe I have. No, I don't that. No, no, so no on that one. Right. True story. What would you uh, say would uh, you know be what you would want to get out of um, this show here today? To let people know that I'm not a klepto. I sometimes I do, but I would never steal from my friends. Ever, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with uh, you know. I, I think you're doing quite well. Yeah. I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah. You ever beaten as a child? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that was bad, bad time in your life, huh? Yep. It's kind of dark and you kind of repressed a lot of it. Yep. Um, would, you, would you, you know, perhaps maybe agree to the thought that because of all that, that's why you steal today? Yes, possibly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even though you steal from your friends? I don't steal from my friends. I don't find this funny. I don't either because I don't steal from my friends. Do you think that uh, you could be helped? Do you think you could stop stealing? Yeah. Do you think people would like you better? Probably. So why don't you? Why don't you tell me? Right here, right now, why, why, why don't you commit to the challenge to yourself today here on A Cup of Joe and you'll stop stealing? I'll stop stealing today. And From everybody. Day. From everybody. From everybody. From everybody. Walmart, fucking bars. Oh yeah, oh. I love it. Yes. Bars. Bars. Right? Mm -hmm. People's houses. People's houses. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all these. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, common farms. Yep, yep. Right. Your parents. Yep. Even though they, you know, you know, they molested you? No. <laughs> You're backpedaling. I can't do anything. I'm not backpedaling. So today, here, uh, you have uh, made a commitment on uh, Cup of Joe that you will stop stealing from everybody. Toiletries, hams, microwaves, shampoos, and uh, bath salts. I'm going to stop. Everything, yes, right? everything, right now. All right. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. No, thank you for All having me. Right. All right. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking for trying or something. But, well, maybe next time, folks, and, uh, you know, Joe Steele here, a.k.a. Bear Williams, whatever. Uh, along with, I think, uh, you know, Iron Buckles over here for coming on and uh, uh, having another cup of joe. Till next time, stay caffeinated.